Welcome to Coinbook. My name is Calvin Waite, and I'm a professional crypto trader. I really like getting feedback from you guys about the market, what you're trading, successes, failures. So I'm going to go ahead and start giving out a t-shirt every week now. What I'll do is I'll look at all comments from Thursday to Thursday, and then Friday, select a random winner. So looking at the Bitcoin weekly chart, you can see that the high last week was just under 16,000. And right now we're trading at 16,130. So we are definitely at a two year high. And the high on the week of January 8th was 16,300. So we are nearing the the top, we're, in the, we're the highest, we're in the seventh highest week that we've ever had in Bitcoin. But there's something that is a little strange and I wanted to point this out. So we've had this, this ascending triangle waiting for a breakout. We had this really large candle and then we've consolidated using this ascending triangle formation. And when we finally broke a above 16 uh, the reaction is unusual I would have expected way more excitement and so there's a caution about Bitcoin right now that even though we may hit our target the the level of uh, disinterest or like that the reaction wasn't as intense as it normally should have been uh, makes me think that we may be running out of steam on this leg. Let me go to the hour chart and I'll show you what I mean. So this was when we broke 16,000. Normally this spot right here would have been a giant candle to take us off into uh, uh, up to probably 17,000 or something. This could have really exploded really hard. And the very next candle on the hourly was a bearish engulfing, which takes a lot of the, the steam out of this. And even though it didn't materialize, like we're still showing higher lows, uh, it took us quite a few hours to sort of regain that original high of 16,177. In fact, we've been battling that for two hours now. So it's there's a lot of investor indecision and it might be that too many people think that it's going up i did look at a few other channels and looking at at the commentary everyone seeing this everyone's seeing this candle or this formation and when too many people think the same way uh there are there are always contrarians or there are large whales that see an opportunity and things don't play out quite the way we expect. So it's hard to say. Uh, we are slowly rising, so I think there's enough retail and enough uh, enthusiasm to, to get us up up a bit. But I don't know how uh, much, how, how stable we're gonna be up here. So just a word of caution that this just didn't, this doesn't feel quite right from a, an, a professional investor's point of view. Well, Bitcoin dominance is rising hard today. And so our total market cap, excluding Bitcoin, um, it is now, we're about nine and a half million Bitcoin uh, for a market cap on everything besides Bitcoin. So we definitely fell really hard on altcoin market today. And so it's uh, definitely definitely interesting i guess we're not quite done uh with our sort of bleeding out that we've been having on the altcoin market when uh, bitcoin price is increasing and bitcoin dominance is increasing uh, it takes a lot less bitcoin to uh, essentially give you a, a market cap for the rest of the coin so let's take a look at bitcoin dominance we can see this giant jump here which is sending a lot of the alts into negative territory against Bitcoin, obviously. 
So this this move here is um, almost a full percentage point. We're at 0.9% uh, uh, in a single day. So this is a pretty big move. We are um, the highest we've ever been in the most recent past is 73% Bitcoin. So we are we're getting a little closer. If we're at around 66 here, that we're about 7% away from uh, a, a definite bottom on the on the altcoin market. So we'll have to watch. Uh, there were there were two coins that I got into recently, and they are um, they're they're not super strong and the rest are all waiting so it looks like we've got a little bit more patience ahead of us on the when it comes to the altcoins this is what happens when somebody asks me what a bitcoin is so Kelvin what's a bitcoin <laughs> today we need to take a very good look at ethereum it's been on the news, a lot of people have talked about it. It has been definitely on people's minds with the uh, 2.0 staking and all of that. Well, let's see what the charts are doing. So I have created, so in the past we have talked about this situation where we had this level of support and we had these wacky uh, tops that were kind of chopping up and down and then it finally broke down but then we popped up so fast, it just kind of was a little unusual. Um, the idea is that from this line to the top, uh, if this mirrors, that the resolution of this pattern would likely bring us down to probably around, yeah, seriously. I'm pretty sure we hit our resolution right here. So if we take the top of this to the line and then the line down, We've essentially hit our target for this pattern. So since this is resolved, I'm well. Maybe I'll maybe I'll leave it just because we will most likely re-interact with it again. But um, I wanted to show you a little bit more information on this most recent price action. You can kind of see that I've I'd created this channel right here. Uh, this would be the bottom. And then this top, it may not make a lot of sense, but I've com I've connected this line here with the top here. Seemed like the best fit, and it's m and it's very parallel to the bottom, which is uh, something that you look for when you're charting these things. <clears throat> but if I if I go out to the weekly, look at the difference. Look at this channel on the weekly chart now you can actually see that on the daily where we had dropped below this line on the weekly we have respected this line so there's a huge difference between the weekly and the daily and the weekly in this channel we neared we hit the bottom it appeared like we were gonna fall through but we had a beautiful bullish uh, dragonfly doji candle right here this is bullish right here this kind of support on a weekly channel or a weekly candle um, is pro projecting to the market lots of support that nobody's willing to allow this to just completely sell off the other thing to look for is look where our tail is the tip of our tail right here is is very close to our support here whether whether it will completely satisfy investors on this handoff I'm not entirely sure but we certainly satisfied this one so this this top here is definitely uh, taking the handoff from this top here so this top here this bottom here it, it is very likely that this is going to flip <clears throat> to support on the weekly. 
So what does that look like on the daily? So let's go into the daily chart. Give us a little room to see what is the likely scenario. So we have this top here. You can see how we kind of had this, this handoff and then this bullish engulfing at the bottom. Well, it's just very interesting. If you look at how this, this candle, it's been fairly flat. There's been a lot of investor indecision right here. Bitcoin uh, selling off pretty hard today has dropped us down. The question is, is will we stay inside this channel or not? Because if we can find support on this channel, it will give us a higher low than this. And we're not out of the woods yet, but even if we, if we touch this and then we reach the top of our channel, even if a breakout isn't totally confirmed, this will be a higher high than this. And this may signal our, our, our direction change. So Ethereum is, is looking very interesting. It seems like a lot of the bottom, the, the downward momentum has uh, changed, especially when you look at the weekly, where we've had a nice sell-off for a couple of months now, and then you find this candle right here. This is usually indicative of a direction change. So will we get out of our channel? Uh, we will, we're going to have to be a little patient to wait and see, but if there was any indication, uh, I think we've seen it. We've seen at least the first sign that this that this is going to happen. So the question is, is how will Bitcoin behave? Uh, sometimes when Bitcoin goes up, our dollar value of Ethereum increases and people get excited and, and pour into Ethereum and then that'll push our prices up. If Bitcoin corrects, which I, I've just been feeling like we're starting to get a little closer to that, our BTC value of Ethereum could drop. And will that scare investors? It's a little unknown. But indication from this chart without any of that other uh, fundamentals behind it, it looks like we may be in for a momentum change. We'll just have to wait. The main thing is, is that since we've established this channel, we need to wait until we get out of the channel and confirm it as support and then hopefully we can get off up to the races again. Okay, it is time to separate the coin book trolls from the coin book fans. So these are the magnificent t-shirts that we are giving away every Friday. These are individually packaged with love from your best friends, China. There's also this incredible option designed by yours truly and uh, we'll be giving away uh, probably one or two of these every Friday to uh, just a random comment on, on any of the videos over the past week. But, and I don't blame you, if you absolutely cannot live without one of these shirts, I am willing to part with them for $15 worth of your favorite crypto. Just reach out to me on social media and we'll, we'll get you guys hooked up.